Hey guys, we're Phoenix Gaming, I'm Lindsay and Ninja Kitty, and welcome back, ow, I just hit myself in the chin, to another uh, G Fuel unboxing. This isn't Loot Crate. Loot Crate's right here. I get to do these two next, so ignore them for now. They're just chilling here. So this is Phase Apex's flavor, strawberry shortcake, and I'm excited to see. I ordered this the day it came out, and I'm just now getting around to opening it and testing it, or tasting it, I guess, and it's the 11th, and I believe it came out on like the fourth or something i'm not quite sure but a few things before we start yes i do look like crap uh it's two it's 2 45 in the morning uh, i just got home from visiting my dad it's not he he literally lives like five minutes away i was just there until then um i got a new memory card so i can finally not you know confine everything into two and have to like speed through things and rush i don't remember what my third point was oh never mind i remember this flavor is special because you can drink it with milk or mix it with milk. I was gonna do it originally with water first and then milk second, like another day, but I think I'm just gonna do that now because I really wanna try it. So without further ado, let's open this. I'm, this is weird because I'm left-handed and I'm using my right hand. That, that's weird, I don't like that. And if you don't know, I am a fan of Faze. Not so much right now because I've been busy working and stuff, but I do like Faze Apex. He's kind of up there on the list of favorites, but in the box, this is, quite pretty. First you get a packing slip as usual, but I'm gonna put that down there. And this tub is very nice. Everything Chance is eating his dinner. He likes to eat whenever. Like literally he'll eat it now. It's, it, and it's 2.30 again, 2.45. But here's what the box looks like. And it's quite nice looking. And I don't really know. So let's just start with everything that's in it. You got the packing paper. It's quite wonderful. And right off the bat, here you have, the, the scoop feels like it's on top. You have the tub, it's the third gen, so it has like everything up here and down here. And here you go, it's the strawberry shortcake flavor. And I believe this, I, I, I keep calling it the dessert line that they have, because they have rainbow sherbet, and I just, I don't know, I feel like it's all kind of combined into one like dessert line type thing. This is strawberry shortcake, and I'm very excited. I don't think I've ever actually had Strawberry shortcake, I think I did, but it wasn't like, like you just buy the little things from Walmart and you put the strawberries and the whipped cream on top. So if that counts, then yes, I've had it. And yes, it's really good. Strawberry is one of my favorite flavors of anything. And if you don't know, um, I am a big fan of fruity flavored stuff. So there we go, nice. So it's, it's a plus for me, I guess, and it's, not, I mean, it's sugary, but there's actually no sugar in it. It tastes like it, though. But, and then we have, ooh, this bubble wrap is different. It's like tiny, tiny little bubbles. And then we have the nice, different colored shaker. Phase Apex, here we are. It's like a very uh, pale pastel pink, almost, actually. Has this little A on it, and G Fuel eh, on the other side. It eh, focus. There we go, nice. And I do I do need to paint my fingernails. I haven't got around to it. I broke another one. Oh well, I can't focus on it. And then this piece is white right here. I actually need to go wash this out. He's, what is dog? <laughs> Where's that thing? Oh no. But the cup is, oh, it's stuck in my finger. The cup isn't very see-through as you can tell, but I mean, I don't mind, I don't really care. It's probably kind of like the whiteout edition of some cups. I know Faze Rain has one and hi dog so that's basically essentially what it looks like if you're curious but as you can tell it's not very see-through and i do like the choice of colors for this as well it's more of like a not vibrant pink so it's not like the other shaker that i have that i'm pointing at that you can't actually see it's not like this bright panther pink looking one i can't get, actually get the lid on it but it's not like that it's very different. It always weirds me out when people come down through here, especially at night, because our street's a dead end, so it's really weird. But as you can tell, yes, they are quite different, but I do really like the color variation in this one. I'm gonna put that over there. It's just, it's different, and I like different. Like things that are unique. This is definitely a unique one, and it comes off pretty easy, so that's good. But I'm gonna have to go wash that out before I use it. And I'm not an avid milk drinker either, so this should be interesting. So we also have, dang, they have 20 flavors now. That's <laughs> so weird. I've been here for four releases, I think. Not quite sure. And then we have, all right, let's do 
It's the Scuff Gaming 5% off. And then thank you for your order from Cliff. Thanks, my dude. And then we got the Strawberry Shortcake sticker. And if you don't know, stickers come with every purchase that you have or that you get. And they are also available on the G Fuel app only, which just go to your app store on your phone or whatever and type in G Fuel and it's right there. So those are exclusive. And I believe this tub was actually only exclusive on the app as well. For right now at least, like kind of like an early release type thing. But stickers are also available for purchase on the app only. I don't know if they're ever gonna put them on their uh, website, like their desktop website, but that's a thing. So if you want some stickers individually or some other type of sales or like pre-early release type things, check out their app. Also, these boxes are getting very sturdy. Like, this is a good box. So I'm gonna go clean this and then drink it. All right, so I have filled this up with about 16 ounces of milk and it's still focused on my face, hello. You can't really see it in there because the cup's pretty white as well. But as I mentioned earlier, I'm not an avid milk drinker at all. Like honestly, I'll probably go a month without drinking milk. It's, I don't eat cereal very often. I don't eat breakfast very often. I don't really like breakfast. Yeah, I don't drink it very often. So this should also be interesting. Also another point that I had earlier that I had thought of but didn't, I forgot to tell you, mention, you get, men, bleh, mentioned to you guys earlier is that um, it is now 2.57 in the morning and it's the morning. And it's like I don't need G Fuel at this time, but my mom's not home, so I'm still kind of freaked out when I'm home alone, even though I'm 20. But it's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. I'm good. I'm Gucci. And then, um, I feel like I had something else to say, but I don't remember. So let's just go ahead and get this open and get to trying it because I have two other things to do tonight. I should probably edit them as well, but I'll probably go play Call of Duty and see how well G Fuel works again because... I did test it a long time ago when I first got G Fuel. I got tried Phase Berry, and I think it did enhance my focus. No chance. He always gets. Oh, it's pink. Oh, it's pink. Ooh, that's. <coughs> Ow. I think it just inhaled some powder. Is this what people who do crack feel? Ooh, ooh, ugh. Okay, so the scoop is not on top, but the little. Thing right there is the powder thing that oh my gosh my nose I've just sneezed now <laughs> so I feel like this is gonna taste like strawberry milk um not quite sure but probably I mean strawberry obviously I don't know if it'll taste like cake also but this there's this little thing if you're if you're wondering why that comes in it it's because it hello dog it keeps the moisture from getting in there so if it does it kind of sucks it up and keeps the powder dry oh my scoops right on top Come on, you. You smell that? What a turd. My dog's right here and he's sniffing this. Does that smell good? It's a really fine powder, huh? Okay, uh, okay. No, don't make a mess. I'm wearing black pants. Don't do it. And if you're curious, <laughs> the powder's not bad, I promise. I just keep inhaling it in my nose. Hello, dog. If you're wondering what kind of pants I'm wearing, Markiplier once. Oh, my fingers are sticky now. That's weird. But if you also didn't know, the the cup, the, these things do this. The little scoop you get. Okay, can't taste it in the air. So this is pretty much how much is supposed to go in your lovely drink. Oh God, I'm making a mess. Come on, don't do that. All right, let's get some nice dropping in action here. Focus on this. Dog, don't do that. All right, there we go. Are you focused on my face still? Hello? Okay, there we go. Now I got it focused, jeez. All right, in you go. Oh boy. You can't see anything I'm doing, I'm sorry. All right, let's... Okay, it smells like something that I can't think of. All right, let's get this cleaned up before I make even more of a mess. Ew, okay, okay, it's going everywhere. My fingers are sticky. I'm getting powder everywhere, all right. So right off the bat, uh, it's very bright in here. There is the pink powder in it. Ah, there we go. That's what it looks like when you drop it in, trying not to tilt it over too much. I really wanna taste this because I feel like it's gonna be really good and I've been really wanting to all day and then I was like, oh no, it's Friday. So I was like, oh no, I can't do it until my mom leaves on Monday. But no, she went out tonight, so. 
there's that. I also didn't put any ice in this because ice and milk, ugh. I forgot when you shake milk bubbles form. So, ooh, okay, it, it has their strawberry scent in it. That's gonna taste really good. Oh my God, okay, <laughs> okay. I can't shake it anymore because there's bubbles. Yeah, see, look at that. See all those bubbles right there? It tastes exactly like strawberry milk, like the Nestle or Nesquik strawberry milk. I can't tell if it's shaken up or not. I don't think it is because all the powder's still in the bottom. So I'm not 100% sure how I'm supposed to get it shaken up with the bubbles without making it like explode. I just, I guess I can just, there we go. My dog, he always likes to come over to me when I film or do anything when I'm like talking except when I'm on Xbox because he understands that for some reason. But I always get excited when I talk to nothing but like you. By you I mean the camera or whoever's watching this. Hello, how are you? I hope you're doing good today. He's so interested in this. Does it smell good? You can lick it. Okay, I think this is about as good as it's going to get. Um, the color, I'm afraid to take the lid off because the bubbles might pour out. Yeah, not a good idea. Okay. Alright, let's let's just go ahead and taste this. No dog, don't don't bark. Okay, let's let's just go ahead and mm-hmm. It's exactly a little bit less flavorful like the strawberry milk that I mentioned. Nes Nesquik? I think it's Nes Nesquik. I haven't had that in forever either. The only strawberry thing I'm not a fan of is strawberry flavored ice cream. What is that black thing? Oh well. Honestly, I think this definitely tastes better with milk. And like I said, I'm not an avid milk drinker, but I would probably drink a full 16 ounce thing of this with milk in it. I don't think all the powders mix up still either, but it's definitely a good way to get me to drink milk, at least me. So I can get some more protein or whatever's in milk because I really only eat chicken because I don't like red meat. I'm very weird, I know. But I'm gonna shake this some more and see if I can get the rest of it mixed up because I'm still not sure if it is. It definitely doesn't have that, hey, I'm not mixed up, shake me more taste, like the rest of them that you mix with water. And I'm kind of afraid to do this flavor with water, actually. Um, I almost don't want to, but I think I will. I don't know when, but I will. You know, I could probably do a little bit of it in like a, a glass of water right now. I might try that, but let me just try this one more time. Any afterthoughts and stuff I have? Also, before I get close to the end of the video, it already is kind of close, but any afterthoughts that I have will be down in the description below that I forgot or just thought of later or after I had finished the drink. It's just kind of things that I think of later because I usually miss some things that I want to say. And also the G Fuel website is down in the description as well. And their app is just G Fuel, so it's not very hard to find. So you can go check those, the, check those out if you want, but let's just um, continue drinking this because it's good. This is really good. This is almost like a breakfast drink. Sorry, I'm dying. <laughs> it's like something you would drink in the morning because it's milk, you know what I mean? Like it definitely has a strawberry taste. I don't, I don't know if it's specifically strawberry shortcake, but it definitely is strawberry something. <laughs> I just want to point out really fast, ignore all this over here, it's a different video, but this does not taste like regular milk either like i don't i don't really like milk i if i had a choice i would not drink it but this i will definitely drink like it is definitely um i said i keep saying definitely it is heavier like i mentioned earlier but it's it's not it doesn't taste like milk it doesn't i feel like i have a milk stash <laughs> it doesn't taste like milk it doesn't really feel like milk either wait let me try again it almost tastes like it, it's not it doesn't go down like milk but it's thicker kind of like Guinness which I haven't actually tried myself but I do know that it looks very thick and according to Tom syndicate uh, he he says it's very thick so everything is thick <laughs> lots of thickness nice I think the milk part helps out with the cake flavor a lot sorry I'm just like really back here today but I think they definitely pretty much hit the nail on the head with this is not in line I just noticed that I think they definitely hit the nail on the head with oh geez uh, the flavor that they were going for. They did good once again. Wonderful company. Check them out. They're great. I'm. I sound like I'm like milking this. No, they're. They're all the all the uh, English. All their flavors are definitely what they say they are. What you expect them to be. 
with only 25 calories per serving as well and no sugar no anything else in it it's great it's really a healthy energy drink and I have had sorry my camera died but um, it really is like a healthy energy drink I've had monster I've had rockstar NOS full throttle I think even the Mountain Dew ones and they definitely make me feel a little bit different like they definitely give me the caffeine buzz to it uh, but that they're supposed to but at the same time I don't get caffeine headaches I don't drink I mean even if I drink like a ton of tea or soda or something like I still don't get a caffeine headache if I don't so that's also a good thing about me but G Fuel definitely does give you I mean I feel like the the buzz the high whatever you want to call it that it gives but I don't you don't get the crash from like coffee or tea or energy drinks you don't get the crash from that sorry if my necklace was bothering you because the clasp was off but you don't crash from it it's weird like I don't know how to explain it it's just weird you don't have the crash at least I don't this is personally what I have experienced like sometimes I mean before it was kind of making me feel a little shaky after I had drank it but I'm not sure if that was just like anxiety because we were out to eat or if it was just kind of the G Fuel didn't mix with the seafood crab that I was having or but that only happened a few times and it was also it was also kind of when I wasn't feeling 100% so I'm just kind of gonna push that to the side but basically what I'm saying is G Fuel is the alternative healthy way to go <laughs> yes yas bitch yas it's a bit of a heavier drink obviously because of the milk in it but this flavor is definitely one to try. I think it's a bit more on the sweet side and more on the strawberry side. So if you're not really a fan of those, then maybe not try it. But at the same time, try it because every G Fuel flavor is wonderful. Every single one of them that I've had and I've had, I have them all. I just haven't actually posted a video of me trying coconut, pineapple, and grape, which I tried. I tried the coconut. I accidentally deleted the clip, but I tried it and it was really good. So. Every single flavor that they have tastes exactly like what it's supposed to, and it's great. Like, I don't know how they do it. I don't know why Gatorade and Powerade and everyone else can't do that, but their, their shit is legit. <laughs> That's a good slogan. Shit is legit. Nice. So I think that about wraps it up for this video. Um, again, sorry for looking so crap. My hair is just flat because I wore a beanie earlier and it's just kind of gross. And it's also three in the morning, so I look tired. I am tired. So again, any afterthoughts that I have for this are down in the description below, as well as the link to their website, the link, or their G Fuel app name, it's just G Fuel. And there was something else I was supposed to link, but I don't remember what it was now. Oh well. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, let me know. Let me know if you tried this flavor, if you got it, if you like it, if you like the shaker or the stickers or whatnot. And tell me how I can also improve my videos because I'm always open to, you know, good criticism. Don't yell at me and like say, oh, you, you freaking suck. You need me. Don't, don't do that. I don't like that. It, it makes me sad. Just, you know, tell me what I can fix, how I can make them better and all that fun jazz and hopefully gaming videos will be returning soon now that spirit is done. I have a few uh, Christmas seasonal jobs lined up right now. I don't know if I'm going to go for them, but they're there and the opportunity's there. So I might do those, I don't know, but our Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram are also down in the description below if you wanna check those out. I post on Instagram whenever videos go up as well as whenever we're streaming on Twitch so you can follow us on Twitch or on Instagram or both. I don't really use Twitter much, but it's also there as well if you want to check that out. But that's about it. So thank you guys again so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. But in the meantime, remember to be you and stay inspired. Bye. This shit is legit. I am proud of that slogan.